good use of his word. You may be seated in the presence of God. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I am preaching, speaking, talking on what the Lord has given me as a team before you talk, think. Before you talk, what? Now, from the scriptures that we have just read, ladies and gentlemen, from the first scripture, we have seen God speaking to us and telling us that even though the sheep is so mighty and so big, but with a little help, I don't know how many of you have entered the sheep before or have seen the video of a sheep or have seen the picture of a sheep. Am I communicating here now? Have you seen the sheep before? You know what the captain uses to turn the sheep? It's like a little steering. The steering, what you call, you know, the helm is actually smaller than that of a vehicle. Am I communicating? And the sheep is bigger, you know the sheep is bigger than a house. Sometimes a big sheep is like two story buildings or even four buildings all put together, two up and two down. Am I talking to someone? But then the thing that the captain uses to turn the sheep is just very little. And wherever the captain turns, the sheep with that little steering called the helm, that's where the sheep goes to. And so also the Bible is telling us that the sheep can be controlled and that the horse, though is one of the strongest animals, no, is you know the horse is known as a war animal. Am I communicating? Yeah, yeah. Use the horse for war because it has strength, it has power. But the little rope that is called the reins put in the mouth of the horse makes the horse to turn wherever the rider wants to take the horse to. Am I communicating? Yeah. Now the tongue in the body of you and I is amongst the smallest member. But the Bible calls the tongue in the book of James that we have just read, say the world of iniquity. Do you understand the meaning of that? I like this one. It's disturbing my spirit. Calls the Bible a world of iniquity. You didn't hear the scripture one read it. A world who we talk about iniquity is a mixture of sin, transgressions, wickedness, all manners of evil joining together, mixed with salt and pepper. And then they put granite in it. When we say something is filled with iniquity, there is big problem. You don't do battle, do battle, do battle. So then, if you set up the fear, am I going to Am I communicating? A world of iniquity. When we talk about you are filled with iniquity. You know, even God describes man in the book of Job. He said, Man that drinks iniquity like water. The human being that I enter in it. Now I have a hard job for me. <laughs> God says we drink iniquity like water. Why? Because most of the time we don't think before we talk. And then look at that the point we just open our mouth anyhow and utter up. We say all manners of things because we don't pay for our speeches. Sometimes I wish we could pay for the things that we say. If we pay for the things we say, some of us will measure the things we do and the things we say. Am I communicating? Because God describes the tongue. Look at that scripture in the book of Psalm 52, verse 2. He said, The tongue is like a sharp razor. Do you know what's called a razor? It is sharper than a glass. If you just slice this chest, it tears. In the pieces. God is speaking to you and I in the next few minutes. He said, before we talk, we should think. Before you open your mouth to say to your wife, you useless that you woman. And the same useless that you woman, you would want her to cook for you. You have killed our spirits. Then I talk to you from 
the realm of the spirit. Most of the time we say we are Christians. Because if you read down the scripture of that same chapter, three, God says, from the same mouth we bless. And the same mouth we curse. How can you want your wife to love you, to show you love? Because there are children here, you know, I have to say some things with caution. When it gets to the midnight season, you want that to open headquarters. I'm sure you know the adults here. Yeah. Yeah. But meanwhile, you have abused this woman. You have insulted this woman. You have called her all manners of wicked names. And yet, you want her to function. You will come back and say, Give me my food. Meanwhile, you have killed her spirit. You want your husband to give you money. Up to nine children. Or name of six children. Give me money, give me money. I'll be so. The Bible says it's salt. Most times, with our mouth, we say wicked and useless things that turn our helpers away from us. You want something from someone. If they give you one handkerchief, listen, any handkerchief, any handkerchief, any handkerchief. A grateful heart is the one that gets blessed. That's why it is written. And it is being said, it is your attitude that determines your altitude. Most of you say to yourself, I don't need your help. Who are you now? What, the hell, what can you give to me? Every day you go to the altar or you go to your private place in your room. The pray to God, God send me helpers. Send me helpers for this thing. God, do something new in my life. God, break the yoke. Can I talk to you? Your helper is in the body of the person sitting next to you. Your helper is a person that you look down on. Your helper maybe the preacher that just started preaching yesterday. Yes, you are a preacher for 40 years, so much. Was Eli not despised? If Eli knew it all, his children would have stayed in the wheel of God. That you've been a preacher for 40 years does not mean that the new preacher doesn't have a revelation. Am I talking to someone? You will have church members. You talk to them anyhow because you are a can I talk to someone this time? You want to get married? When the bobo that maybe God wants to give you passes you back, they can say, Papa Timmy, they can not touch you. How they go take no one and they go marry you? I'm not talking about that kind of touching you. I am holy, I don't want to. I don't want to. No, I am holy. I stop talking anyhow. You are a member of the church. When the pastor is preaching, you open your dirty mouth and you say, What are they preaching? Now they put the Bible, they go to me. Then I go by the school. They have to in a in the Ayan from night to night, midnight oil. Come and start burning it. Came around a little fetch. I took my hand over here. I am not here in the way. But they won't try lipstick. You need to go give away the more. If you see what we see in the spirits, you will not open your mouth and talk to God. 
Amen. Amen. Stretch your hands. Let me make a prophetic declaration unto you. I prophesy over you. Under the sound of my voice. The worst of God says. In the book of Job, Joshua read the one with a spray. Says everywhere the souls of our feet shall tread. Thou shalt take from thy possession. Uh -huh. We have finished the very first quarter in the year of 2021. That's right. And we have entered the second quarter. Whatever you have lost in the first quarter, mm -hmm. I command it to come back to you now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I prophesy over you. And I receive. Wherever the souls of your feet could tread, oh. after this conference, hey. you will take for your possession. Hey. Wherever you go after this conference, mm. men shall favor you. Yeah. Sure that the spirit of the people is carried along and they know what I am talking about. 
Which book did I read from? I read two books, so nobody should look at their book. Exam, they read it. shout to them, So I yell at them, I Which book, which is the first book I read? You read James. Chapter again. James. One, two, three. Yeah, another person that can Give me, help me give that man. When you like to share that part. What's that? What's that? Praise the Lord. You are wearing t-shirt, blue t-shirt, blue t-shirt. Chairman, which book did I read from? It wasn't here. It wasn't here. It wasn't here? Yeah. I took a question. Yeah, the young guy wearing an Ankara. What's that? What's that? What's that? Praise the Lord. Yeah, which book did I read from? James chapter. That's what the most is. Huh? Three past days. I read from three. From three. Now. So you didn't get it. Give the uncle wearing cross. What's the second scripture that I read? What is the dog? The second scripture that I read. Psalm 68. No? Those are the ones I used when I was praying. Psalm 68. Psalm 68. I say, who gets it? Come on, Amen. Clap for yourself. Clap for yourself. Because when I'm preaching, I don't just preach. Oh, no, la, oh, get my thing out of Am I talking to someone? So you know what was preached in the church. Now, sweetheart, give her the microphone. What is a team that I preach on? I say, I say. Give, give her the microphone. I like to carry my, my members along. It's called the apostolic invasion. Come on, tell me. What is a team that I preach on? Think before you speak. <laughs> now, give the microphone to this chairman. When I was mentioning names, my father calls me that made me feel happy. One name. What name did I mention? I want to be sure that they know I'm heading back to my head. Adam, oh my God. Are you blessed? Are you blessed? If you're blessed, come for Jesus. Come for Jesus. Come for Jesus. Get the people. Get the people. Get the people also. Are you videoing the people also? Yes, yes. Eh? Come for Jesus. Come on. The things are you're here. You're here. You're here. Because you need to be coming along to know what's going on. Am I communicating? Am I talking to someone? Now stretch your hands. Let me make a prophetic decree one more time against over your life. My Lord and my God. Put your hands not upon my life. You are ready to speak your mind to go to nations of the world to preach the gospel. And it is not because I'm the best qualified and the least of them. There are people here that need to come first. Out of the prison that the enemy have put them into. I ask, O oh Lord, that supernatural serenity, supernatural overtaking, let it overshadow them that from henceforth.